somebody here among us who brought something very special. He himself, I met him while I was interviewing some of the GM car designers, and he has a, a passion for preserving history like I do, but he comes from a different perspective. He is an artist. I'm a car girl. He is doing a movie called The American Dreaming. It's called American Dreaming. Am I, am I pronouncing that right? There you are. <laughs> and he is uh, trying to preserve all the artwork and sketches of all the car designers who work for all the Detroit car companies, and especially during the golden era from cars from 1946 to 73. That is the golden era of our cars. And like me, he's trying to preserve the stories of these people who have done unbelievable work, not only the artistic side, the designer side. And he's trying to submit the artwork in the movie to the Detroit Institute of Arts under a new classification called Industrial Automotive Art or Automotive Industrial Art, right? Automotive Industrial Art. Because there's nothing at the DIA for the car designers. I was stunned to hear that. We're the Motor City. There should be something in the DIA for these wonderful people who've created, they're artists. So he brought something very special today. They are three original, rarely seen, of his own private collection, right? Carl Renner sketches of proposed Corvair designs from 1957. So I'm going to bring up and let him explain the background of the designer and the sketches, Mr. Robert Edwards. My name is Robert Edwards, and as Eva mentioned, uh, I'm an artist, and I started finding designer sketches. I live in Royal Oak, and I started finding the sketches several years ago, started buying them, collecting them, and then I was fortunate enough to meet several uh, automotive designers, and I realized that that history was disappearing rapidly. Uh, not only were the car drawings ending up in garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, but the designer stories that were not being captured and so I started making a movie two years ago and started interviewing the uh, designers I could find especially in this area we have about 70 hours so far uh, but what makes this, the drawing so special is the fact that these were never intended to be seen by the public these were created in the studios to create the product they were corporate secrets they were not supposed to leave the studio so very few of them got out maybe only about 10 percent of everything created uh, left the studios. The rest were all destroyed as part of corporate policy. So the sketches that I have, I had found uh, in California. Uh, these turned up on eBay. Sometimes they do turn up on eBay. Uh, and I purchased all three of them, uh, recognizing uh, what they were, uh, and uh, brought them back to Detroit. Uh, this is drawing number, it's titled number one, but I have no idea what that means. But Carl Renner was the assistant chief uh, designer under Ned Nichols who ran the Corvair program. So these early sketches, they don't look like the Corvair. You can sort of see some elements to them. You can see that this is a small car and you can see that Carl Renner drew smoke coming out of the back indicating that it was a rear engine car. You can see some vents on the trunk lid. So, But as we, as we move along, there are three sketches. They were all done on the same day. This is sketch number one. This is sketch number two, and these were all done in an Advance One studio, which was the studio that created it. Uh, but this one here, if you look at the, the trunk lid itself, he's indicated little letters, and uh, you, you can imagine that it's spelled C-O-R-V-A-R, uh, and you can also sort of see the concave tail uh, happening, and then the belt line, which is... You can start to see some elements as, as it progresses. Designers would do dozens of sketches. Uh, Ned Nichols would decide these. this is the direction we're going to go, or at that time it would be Harley Earl, who was the vice president of design of GM, would say this is the direction we're going to go. Uh, we're really lucky that uh, a number of the designers who worked in that studio in the beginning are still with us, Paul Deason, Russ uh, Russinoff and Ken Janess all worked in that studio in the early years of designing the Corvair, 
uh, and uh, uh, they are full of really fascinating history and stories. So if you love the Corvair, please get, take a moment to, to talk with them and find out uh, how parts of this came to be. Uh, each one designed different things that happened in production. Paul Deason uh, did uh, the, uh, the, the, the fake grill uh, at the front of it. He designed one of the hubcaps uh, and uh, certain other elements of it. <coughs> But please talk to them all. The last one is uh, the same day as well, all 723. One of the interesting things about Carl Rainier as well is that during World War II, he went to work for the Walt Disney Studios. And you can see that these sort of have a little bit of a cartoony style to them. Uh, he said that he preferred, he has passed away a long time ago now, but he preferred being a car designer because if you draw Mickey Mouse, you have to always draw Mickey Mouse looking like Mickey Mouse. But if you draw a car, you can use your imagination. You know, it's got four wheels, headlights, etc. But, you know, you have much more freedom when you design a car. But he has this uh, very characteristic, almost cartoony style. He was very quick, produced dozens of ideas. He was really well thought of by Harley Earl. And he was at one point uh, uh, given his own special studio, which only he and Harley Earl had access to. Uh, but I'm very fortunate to have these. Uh, I have about 180 drawings in my collection. And uh, eventually, my wife and I hope that these will be accepted into the Detroit Institute of Arts. This is Detroit's heritage. Uh, it needs to be preserved. It needs to stay in Detroit. This is a Detroit story. But this is what we contributed uh, as, uh, as, uh, as a region to the world. So, but thank you, Eva, for having me here. Thank you for me allowing to draw, show the drawings. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. I'll let you enjoy that a little while.